everybody, and welcome to another fantastic episode of the Dice the Bind Us. I'm Alex, your humble dungeon master for the evening. As you can see, we're down a couple people for this episode, and that's A-OK. -okay. We are going to be doing a little bit of a one-shot for you. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a smaller party thing. A little more spotlight time for all of our players, and letting them figure out what to do, and a couple less brains to throw at the puzzles that I've written out for all of this. And it's OK. We have Abby. We'll be fine. So let's set the stage for you. Well, actually, let's have you guys set the stage for what's going on. So let's introduce what characters we're playing. Dash, you want to go first? Yeah, I brought back... Well, I don't know the order of these things, then. I have Quinn again! Level 4 Sorcerer, uh, level 3 Warlock, Satyr build sort of character, just a fun little shenanigans gremlin who learned things they were not supposed to learn from their fae patron, and now just going where they need to go. I'm playing uh, Gecko Slaughter Tummy, a half-orc Kaido champion. He grew up in a, in a orc mountain tribe and saved the tribe from multiple bad shit, hero, you know, whatever. Super good at fighting, doesn't want to fight. It's currently a paralegal and is, and is pursuing a degree to be a lawyer. So your last name's Slaughter Tummy? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Family name, you know. From the Slaughter Tummy clan. I am playing Bob Gorvax, level 5 Gloomstalker Ranger and a level 2 fighter. He's just searching for love. The only guy. The bugbear? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Bug He's a bugbear. So, let's set the stage for you. This is not a continuation of Benedict's Big Day in any way. We are back into the normal realms of D&D. As far as I run them, you all are a group that have known each other for probably a few weeks at this point. You were all assigned as bounty hunters or whatever your various drive is, be it money or justice or vengeance or what have you. You all are being sent after the most wanted person alive. That's all the information you have. There is one person who has been committing massive crime waves all across Faerun, specifically in the Storm Coast, to keep it to a place that y'all know a little bit better. But yes, you all are working together. You were assigned as a team of three to track down the most wanted person. In the world. My friends, immediately, all of the choices are up to you. You tell me where in the Storm Coast you would like to start your search. Or if you have any questions that you would like to ask to help determine where you should start, feel free to ask. Your only objective for this one shot is to find and apprehend the most wanted person in the world. Okay. So, we just go to the Astral Sea then, right? Stick to the, the Storm play. Coast. Uh, I'm thinking over here by the Maelstrom. If I remember correctly, there was something neat over there that we never explored in Campaign 1. It's a gate to the elemental plane of water. Yeah, yeah. but the entire fucking Triton City. Oh. Mm. Oh. It's time. Lizard Marsh! It's time. God yes. damn it. Definitely yes. the Lizard Marsh. Has to be in the Lizard Marsh. There's no other place you could be, <laughs> right? That's true. I agree. Single lizards in your area. <laughs> Alright, so, in seriousness, most wanted. Dead or alive? Does it matter? Uh, so they would like specifically alive, but dead is also acceptable, just less proof. Okay. So that implies that it's not some kind of undead. That means that it is a living thing. I guess, like, maybe start in a major city and try to, like, info gather? Uh, like, what What else is, like, with the job posting, I guess, or, like, the bounty or whatever it was? You all were brought in in Neverwinter. You were looking at job postings, and there was bounties put on every bounty board in every major city, asking anyone who is capable and willing to meet in the town square of Neverwinter to get filled in on the details. And the details that you were given in this town square the same details that every other bounty hunter team working on this was given was that someone of an unknown description was guilty of stealing essentially every stored piece of wealth across the storm coast one one person as far as they can tell wow and that is what you were told uh there is um there are like several deputies that came down so if you do have other questions that can help you narrow this down feel free to ask it is entirely up to y'all how much information you want to gather before you start just gallivanting through trying to figure out what you do. you have a name? Okay, as as a lawyer, Gecko asks, was, were they given a fair trial or were they just assumed guilty? They have to be apprehended to have a trial. Okay, so they're accused. They're not quite guilty yet. They're accused of stealing every story. I suppose that is correct, yes. So, you know, learning the lawyer mumbo jumbo, you know how it is. Mm. I hate lawyers. That's the guard, not me. Lawyers are fine. Do we have like... Trend Sorry, type of item that they were taking? Was it just stored were like expensive things nope they were just anything valuable gold magic items pretty much anything they could get their hands on how did they take them with their hands probably there was no break-ins of the banks they were just empty private collectors vaults emptied out no security systems trips no alarm spells breached odd way to do a national crime 
spree. Or thinking he's not in it for the fame or glory, he just needed some extra cash. Apparently, a lot of it. Stealing everything of value across the entirety of the, the coast, that's a lot of extra money needed. Do, uh, you know any good pickup lines? Me? You sound just, yeah, you sound just like a guy I know. He was really good with the lady. Hmm. Oh, I think the best pickup line that I've ever used was, Hello, and nice to meet you. That works. Sometimes it works out best just to be yourself. Okay, like, write that down. Uh, do you have a list of, like, potential eyewitnesses? People who say that they've actually seen this individual? Or do. And he hands you a stack about yay big of name, address, name, address. Just paper upon paper upon paper upon paper. Does it have dates of, like, when they say, like, or is it just the name and address? An interesting question you ask. All of them are dated exactly the same. All of these robberies happened yesterday. Okay. At the exact mm. same time? Roughly. We're sure this isn't, like, a guild all working together? All of the descriptions we got were identical, but also, once we got them, we couldn't remember them. That's hard. We remember them being the same. Just can't remember the descriptions that the people gave them to you? Mm hmm. They, they don't remember either. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm going to go around the corner and I'm going to grab some random person and bring him forward and say, I found him. This is the person. What proof do you have this is the person? Well, I think they stole everything. They wouldn't confess to anything. Well, no evidence means that they are not guilty in the court of law. Okay. Must not be the right person. But I am a guard, and I know the law. They did steal, though. Oh, did they now? You yeah. see this? You, you see? You see this? This like half elf gentleman that Gecko has just dragged up, just kind of turns and looks. You go. I didn't know such thing. You've stolen my heart. Roll a performance check or a persuasion <laughs> check. <laughs> not good at either. So here we go. And <laughs> not bad. You need to work on your pacing. Maybe next time you'll nail it down. Now, can I go? And turns and looks at you, Gecko. Yeah, yeah, you're free to go. Thank you. Sorry for the, uh, sorry for the confusion. Disappears into the crowd. So we need evidence, and yet you as a guard don't have any evidence from the place that was stolen from here? No, well, this place specifically wasn't stolen from. You didn't hit Neverwinter? Oh, no, Neverwinter, yes. Like, this place, specifically. Yes, but you're the Neverwinter guard. We had eyewitness statements. No physical evidence. There was none to be had. What if everyone's lying to you? What if this is some kind of, like, mass illusion spell to make everyone think that they were stolen from? We did a pretty thorough search, and we didn't bump into any large stacks of gold or wealth that would have been hidden by an illusion, but I suppose it's possible. Either way, we would have to find where that illusion's coming from and prove it was an illusion. You're welcome to go look through the crime scenes if you like, see if you can find evidence where we didn't. It's really easy to find them. Literally pick any building. You just stole so much. That's so much labor. Bob, let's see if we can get you uh, hooked up with some people mourning the loss of their item. Maybe their standards are lowered. Where are you headed, my friends? They're like a bank in Neverwinter? Like a big location where the things were stolen from, like a vault, a bank. Yeah, so there's, there's, this is a major city, so there's a few banks throughout the city. There are magic item shops that would have their own vaults. There are like wealthy homeowners, politicians that would all have their own saves and large collections of things. There is a plethora of places that would qualify. Um, the square that we started in, I'm going to go backwards one step and check the bushes around that square. Do I find anything? Roll an investigation check. Gecko, it's going to take a while to search the city square by square. Yes, but I have a feeling maybe he's right here and I like, kind of shake the bush. You see that a gnomish fellow comes crawling out of it and goes, Oi! What's your problem? <laughs> see, I told you, this is the culprit. And I'll kind of like... It's just taking a nap! Where were you yesterday at? And I'll pull up the paper. What time does it say that this all happened at? Uh, so all of them took place between... 12 p.m. right at high noon and midnight last night. Oh, he was napping! Nap a lot, huh? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't think it's him. Uh, if you to go, I'm sorry. Are you missing any of your precious belongings? I didn't have none to begin with. Okay. All I got's me bush. Well, I didn't take your bush. That's good. Hops back in, falls immediately back to sleep like nothing happened. That poor guy. Your winner's got some policy problems. Uh, ma big, big magic item shop in town. See what they got going on. There are a few. Pretty much... Any any type of magic item shop you would be looking for, there is one. But there are a few that are kind of like large, like Emporium style magic item stores that have just like shelves upon shelves. There are, there's one that is called Genevieve's Genuine Artifacts. There's another one 
that is called Magic Miscellany, and a third one that just says shop over the door. So the people highly recommend. Good God, they robbed lots. Any any preference? Or we just go into the one that's right here? Or No preference. What, whatever one y'all want to go to. All right, Bob, the name Genevieve stand out to you? Cool name? That sounds cool. All right. Genevieve's Genuine Artifacts. He was you... genuinely gnabbed. You all make your way to Genevieve's Genuine Artifacts, and as you enter this building, you see it is a massive warehouse-style store. Think like a like a big Walmart or a Target or something like that. And you see shelves upon shelves upon shelves, but unlike how you would expect on a normal day, all of the shelves are barren. Not like dusted over with cobwebs or anything like it's been a long time, but they're all just happen to be empty. It's like everything in the store was purchased at once or, you know, stolen. They took everything. Hello? Anyone in here? Hello? Uh, you hear a voice kind of echo going through these halls. Just a minute. You wait. Wait slightly longer. A few minutes pass. I'm on my way. Don't fret. A few more minutes pass. And you see this very, very small goblin woman who, who peeks around the corner of one of the shelves coming up to you and just... <sighs> Hello? Sorry for the track. It's quite all right. It's fine. It's fine. What can I do here for? We're investigating a mass thievery. By the time somebody came by. And it only happened yesterday afternoon. Right, but I have the biggest magic shop in the entire city. You think I'd be first priority? Guards not come and look at this place? Nope. Not yet. <sighs> I was told I'm on the list. Was anything left behind? You know what? It was. One moment, I'll be back. Uh, no, how about we just follow? follow? Okay, let's follow. Let's follow. You all follow her this time, and you realize she's moving incredibly slow that the distance to the back desk that you heard her calling from is maybe 150 feet back it was not very far at all but she's moving real slow she gets you all the way back there and she reaches into a, a small drawer in this countertop area and she pulls out a small key which was the only thing left in the store what's it open no idea I'd never seen it before you'd never seen the key not once that appears to be the sum of it can I see it? Sure. He hands it to you. Is there any, like, markings or distinguishing of what it could be to? Roll me an investigation check. A big natural one. Let's go. Oh, my God. You're not even sure you remember what keys do in this current moment. This is certainly an odd item. I don't know why it would be left behind. Just kind of, like, gently place it on the counter. As you go to set it down, it doesn't leave your hand. It's attacking me. First part definitely seems true. Just, like, flap my hand, try to get it loose. It, so it is kind of stuck in between your thumb and your... I'll reach out and grab the other end of it and take it. You go to take it from Quinn, and your hand comes off just fine. Ah! Uh... that key got stuck to you. You don't say. Probably not good. Probably not. You gave me a haunted piece of metal. Well, I didn't set it on the table and you asked if you could look at it. Why didn't it stick uh, to you or Bob? Couldn't tell you. Someone else look at the key. Maybe it'll solve why it's coming off. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to look at the key. Yeah, the oh, other two of you can try, make yeah. investigation yeah. checks as well. Well, uh, 16. Bob, you don't really see anything of detail. It's an older key. It's slightly rusted out on the sides. But Gecko, you kind of notice along sort of this like a small inner wall on this key is written out you got greedy very f like minuscule lettering you can barely make i'll point it out to quinn and bob and i guess even uh to an interview and ask uh have you ever seen this on any other magical items before what's that you got greedy it seems to be like a magic key possibly coast you ever seen something like this before i have seen that key before yes it's the one i put on the table your friend picked up and now stuck to i'll walk to the front door and i'll You're close a it magic item seller does anything yes. like this sound familiar cursed item upset about greed i'm not even greedy i just looked at it i got nothing why you're so far down the list what list guards investigation list for the thieving oh who got robbed? Okay, I think we're done here. Thank you so much for your time, Grenivere. Who's uh, that? Uh, Quinn, Bob, you should probably go. Okay. Gecko, you're a lawyer, right? Uh, not, not yet. Trying to be. I'm just kind of like narrow my eyes at her. Me? I am required to take this key for it is glued to my hand. As long as you pay for it, of course. Quinn, I think if you leave, she's not even going to remember that we were here. Perfect haunted memory. Goodbye. We promise we'll be back to pay for it later. Bye. Bye. Waves. All right. First things first. I want to try this, and I close the door. All right. Put the key in the keyhole. 
Uh, it does not fit. It's so cool. All right, next, <laughs> next name on the list. Next address. Uh, the next one was... It was like Magical Menagerie and Shop. Uh, magical Miscellany. Let's do that one next. Magical, magical Missile. Uh, spell pun. They're very smart around here. Maybe they'll figure out this key thing. You walk in to this shop. It's not quite as big as the last one, but this one you can see is full of, like rotating scroll racks and things several wall displays where there there was clearly some like old or ancient scrolls that were hung up on the walls things like that whereas the last door seemed to be like a physical magical item thing so wands swords etc this one appears to be more potions and scroll work anyone here hello Look around, is anyone? Who's this? Uh, we're investigating the crime, the shoplifting, the stealing yesterday. I have witnessed no crime. Okay, that's nice. Uh, was your shop stolen from? Yes. Did they leave anything behind? Anything that wasn't there before that maybe is now there? Roll a persuasion check. 13. There was one thing, and this shopkeep also produces a small key. Nigh identical to the last one. Without touching it, I'd like to look for that same engraving. Well, I guess look uh, and what the engraving was for if it says anything. You know where to look, so I'm not going to make you roll again. You kind of check out for a new engraving, and you say, and you see that this one says "Stole the World" in the same place. Did they leave anything else? This was all I found. Do you remember anything else about what they took? And I know you said you didn't witness anything, so I'm not going to ask you if you remember what they look like. But do you recall any other details about this? Uh, this incident? what incident is that? All right, um, want to go check out the last one? Oh, uh, can we? Can we have this key? It's it's cursed. You 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 don't want it here. Don't even know what I got. It's yours. You lost it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I I'll cast... take out like a piece of like cloth and like put it in the cloth without touching the key. And okay. Wrap up to my waist. Very, very smart. Can I cast detect thoughts on this person? Sure. Um, See if are you any like gaps or anything? Just looking for surface level, or are you going to try to push a little deeper? Pushing a little deeper is obvious, isn't it? Yep. Uh, just do surface level. Literally nothing. It is just blank? It is blank. Wow. You would know from previous experience casting the spell that normally there is something, even if it is the words that are they are about to speak being formed in their brain, and you're catching that sort of thought process. Currently, in this moment, responding to Gekka, you are hearing none of those thoughts coming through. Can I probe deeper then? Sure. What's the saving throw? 16 wisdom. That is a five! Uh, you probe deeper, you again hear nothing. It is as if this gentleman's brain is completely blank. Like, no reaction to it, really? Seems like they stole, um, everything. There's not the sound of crickets in there. The funky mind match going on. Do we go check out the last shop? Do you want to check out anything else too? Nothing else to check out. So, uh, I guess. Bob, any ideas? I don't think so. I really haven't there... that voice today. <laughs> Is there any type of creature I would have known about at all that could do this type of thing to someone? Like creature or spell question. or... Uh, go ahead and roll me one of the knowledge checks, whichever one you would like, with advantage. 20. Not that. 30, 20. There are many creatures that can cause loss of intelligence, loss of brain function to cause memory loss. Some of them do it physically, but as far as something that completely clears out, someone's mind there's only one thing that you can really think of that does something like that and it's not a creature it's a spell and one that is well out of your wheelhouse to cast is the feeble mind spell does that make sense yeah strip someone down to where their only thing their body can do is act on primal instinct feeble-minded literally hundreds of people in a period of 12 hours hundreds of really strong wizards these still can't pull out the possibility of this being more than a one-person job yeah, there within this... a minute still can see <laughs> Fine. Yeah, um, it is not a far travel at all. When you get here, it is exactly as was described to you and you. some of you may have seen before. There's a small wooden shack that has a sign that says shop on the top. Who would steal from here? Well, we don't even know if anyone did steal from here. We gotta go inside first. Oh, well, let's go. Y'all enter into shop and you players see a very familiar sight. Shop that appears 20 times the size of what it did on the outside. Opens up in front of you in this room. You can see all the way to the back where this large counter sits with several display cases behind it, but none of you see or hear any movement in this room. Hello? No response. Do I sense the thoughts of a thinking creature in this room? Very briefly. Like, how long left... does, wait, the... how, how long does detect thoughts last? A minute. That's why I was like, if I get there in a minute! So yeah, I think maybe you would have caught something potentially as the spell was ending, but no, nothing definitive. Counter, I guess? Is the shop also empty? Like, yeah. shelves empty? 
completely empty. Transdimensional so, theft. Yeah. Don't look around. I'll kind of be like calling out, hello, is everyone here? We're investigating the crime from yesterday. Like, while well, I'm kind of, I guess the first go around is looking for any creature. Of course, before I'm doing any fine deal, like fine tune. Or rather, you're standing at this counter. You can see into two kind of back areas, both of them covered with a door that is slightly open, too dark to really see into, but nobody is responding to calls. I would, I would check in those rooms. If no one was responding, I wouldn't like... I guess I'd just look in and see if I can see any person. Uh, you push the first door open, the one on the right, because that'll be the first one you came across going around this county. And you see a large back room area, a massive, like, enchanting and work table in the center of it. Um, odds and ends, tools, scraps of gemstones, just various enchanting tools around. Clearly, whoever owns the shop makes their own magic items. This is where they do so. But there's no bodies. There's nothing that strikes you as unordinary. Um, I will say I did misspeak in that there are none of the scraps of gemstones. Those would still Partial be of value, of value enough that they would be taken. The second room behind the counter, however, you see a large body laying on the floor. The room doesn't have any windows that lead back into it. It is too dark to make out any details, but this looks to be a very sizable humanoid figure. Kind of called into the room. Uh, hey, hey, bud, you okay there? Hey, hey, Quinn, Bob, there's a body back here. Oh no. I've been looking for one of those. Like shovel's body or call a cleric body. Uh, I don't know. One second, and I'll like approach the body and I guess check for a pulse, do whatever I can to see if. Take a light. medicine check. Excellent. Big six on the medicine check from Gecko. You roll the body over so you can try to find a pulse. Uh, how much do you know about troll anatomy, do you think, from your Probably studies? zero. That sounds about right with what <laughs> you rolled, because as you roll them over, you realize you have no clue how the circulatory system of a troll works or anything else. I just called back out to Quinn and Bob. Uh, I don't know. I think he's dead. I don't know. Definitely did not react to being, like, rolled over or poked or prodded. I'll take a look. I guess I'll go back there, pick them up, and, like, set them up on something and see what's wrong with them. I will need you to roll an athletics check. I'm just, like, leaning them and, like, pulling them. So they're back, is, just, like, sitting up. <laughs> that's fair. I, get the, I guess the two of you could manage it. We're talking, I don't know if I've ever given proper scale for this, but Lotz's body, like, he is, like, 15 feet tall, like... Oh. Think like Lord of the Rings trolls. Yeah. Okay, that's that's fair. I'll I'll, I'll do an athletic check. That is valid. Yeah. That, I think that's pretty good. What did you get? Tell the folks home. That twenty with a twenty six. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah. You you come in and shift him up against the wall. And in all reality, it's a lot easier than it should. Because as you lift up the shoulders and move it, bottom half doesn't come with it. Oh. Is it made of flesh? Like it folds in half. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Go ahead. Both. Quinn and Bob, you can both roll me medicine checks to try to determine what is going on. I will say, there is no obvious gore signs or anything like that. 19? When was a 4? 19. Uh, this is not a real troll bot. It looks like it is made from clay, a little bit of porcelain. It is a decoy of some kind. Made to look realistic, feel realistic. It becomes quite apparent that this is not a real body when you move the top half from the bottom half and nothing comes out. You kind of glance at this gap and you can see the seam lines where this like clay body was formed together. So yes, this is a fake body of some kind. Why it's here, what its purpose was, anything like that, you have no idea. But this back room is yours, though it is still very dark. Well, good news. It's not a real body. That has like 17 layers of mystery. Yeah, that's uh... Hmm. Did anyone find the key yet? That was my next thought. Is it, there, like, I, any lanterns back here or anything? Can I check? Roll investigation Three. check. 18? 18. 18's pretty good. You're rolling fire tonight. You find a singular envelope on in one of these bodies' pockets, and it's tucked into the inner pocket of the vest that he's wearing. Like, so there's the inner pocket of the vest, there's a small sub-pocket inside of the inner pocket, and then it's tucked in there. Pocket Compared section. to the body... If I was if I was the troll size body, the le the letter you pull out would be about this big. It's a reasonably sized letter for a humanoid, like it's average size humanoid, right? Maybe my hand sized. It's it's smaller. Big note card. Yeah. Put on my reading glasses. It says "Not today, motherfucker." On the outside of the envelope. Does there anything inside it? Uh, you it? pop it open. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, make me a Constitution saving. Oh. All three of you. Oh, eleven. Twenty-three. Twenty-one. I rolled good on the checks. Bob. 
Yep. Go ahead and do me a favor and reduce your intelligence score by six. Okay. As you pop this letter open, the two of you were still kind of farther back out of the room looking for lanterns, doing those things. Bob was standing directly over the body. So both of you have a time to react as you see a flash of light blue powder, or sorry, light green powder shoots out of this envelope as soon as it's open and fills this space. It is very brief, very faint, and it seems to just dissolve into thin air as soon as it spreads. That looked familiar at all? Roll... Again, one of the knowledge checks. Eleven? Cool. It's worth a shot between Fey Warlock and Aberrant Mind Sorcerer to be like, this is some forbidden knowledge shit. Bob, what does that leave your intelligence score at? Six. You're having a hard time remembering any of your spells above first level. Okay. Not terrible, not ideal. Yeah. It is a way to represent you losing the memories of some of your training. All right, Bob? I don't feel well. What did the letter say? You do see there is still, like, a piece of paper and something, like, some sort of object in the bottom of the side. I'll pull out the letter. Maybe you should read it. Got a little bit of a headache, bud? Looks like squiggles to me. Oh, okay. Kind of take the letter in the envelope, looking in, is there, like... What's the thing in the envelope? A key. Ah, well, that's condemning. I read the letter. Uh, the letter reads very simply and very plainly. You won't catch me. I'm much too far ahead for that. But congrats on getting this far. The handwriting on the front of the envelope is different than the handwriting on the letter inside. Okay, without touching the key directly, using toss and whatever again. And we pull the key out and see what the key says. Which, by the way, Quinn, you do still have the key stuck between your fingers. This key says, now I steal yours. So just to clarify, so far, you have, you got greedy, stole the world, now I'll steal yours. Well, my guess is this letter, or contraption therein, is uh, how everyone got hazy. That's a good point. Bob, go ahead and make me another constitution saving throw. This one at disadvantage. Easy. Double not 20. 10. Pretty close. 10. You feel a few more memories starting to slip away. Not enough to lower your intelligence anymore or anything like that, but you definitely know that whatever hits you that first time is still in your system. What are we doing here? We're, we're looking for the thief guy. There's a thief? Yeah. I Night slap bobs. Bob real hard on the back, trying to make him cough. Ow. Roll unarmed strike damage. Headbutt Bob real hard with my satyr horns. Sounds good. That's fine. Okay. It gives me slightly more. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Five. All right, Bob, go ahead and roll one more constitution saving throw, but add five to you. Disadvantage or? Yeah, still disadvantage. Just look at him, rear is back, eight... and like headbutt him between the shoulder blades. <laughs> 18, I guess. 18 is good enough. You So you feel satyr horns straight to your back. It's enough to kind of lurch you forward and make you kind of cough up. And you see this powder come kind of shooting out of your nose, kind of shake your head, go ahead and return your intelligence to the system getting out of, or the poison getting out of your system before it had a chance to fully take hold. I didn't take any healing ability, so I'm doing uh, my best. I take five damage, I'm assuming. Yeah, but you're not slowly dying from intellect loss. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Bob, what's five plus five? Ten. What's your mother's name? Marlin. Never asked your mother's name before now. I have no way of verifying if that's true. What is your one quest on this earth? Hello. It's back. The green stuff was nasty. Yeah, it's powder that, uh, rotting everyone's mind. Until they're just a shell of a nothing. Maybe you should hit them. Give me a nasty migraine. Yeah. But we might get some info. And hours you're you're fading fast in mere moments that's true any way to put their memories back in maybe but did that guard know. get a letter too why did he forget i think the guard just wasn't all the way there must have dated a jennifer oh no no i'm saying i think that he was on i think he was drinking on the job oh uh but yeah see so y'all are standing in this room it's still dark like there's still more of this room kind of Stretching back that you can't see, you have determined green powder and envelope bad and affects brain. Yeah, can vouch. Echo, you're a paralegal. Do some handwriting analysis. Those two things are directly correlated. I'll take the letter and I'll take the other letter and just look at them real hard for like a minute. 
and say, I got it. In just inconclusive. We need more evidence. One of them both down. Wait, what other letter? Sorry, the envelope in the letter. Oh, no, okay. I was like, wait, hold on. You just pull out like a letter from your aunt. <laughs> <laughs> just, hmm. Yeah. Turns it's out the, not the same. One suspect off the list. <laughs> not my me, Ma. Where'd the big guy go? Then there was like a vague thought. There was something thinking and then psst, gone. Should we check the rest of the room? And kind of like motion to the in the room. It's Boom. dark in We're... here. We're detectives, sort of, trying to find the person who did this. Please don't jump out and punch us in the dark. I just kind of like start walking with my arms out. I have dark vision, but it's a pitch black room with no light. Your dark vision is doing nothing for you, which tends to mean this is non natural darkness. If only I took the light can's trip, but I did not. Um, I, I think I have a floors or dungeon neos pack. Do those come with torches? Yeah, all of the packs come with torches. Yeah. Can, can I attempt to light a torch? And uh, you do. See? You get it lit, and then as soon as you step into the darker side of the room, you can't see the torch light. I'm kind of let Quinn and Bob know, like, yeah, this is dark, you know, like, I move the torch from the darkness, and then out of the darkness, and back into darkness. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find anything in here. Make a funny uh, poke around. I could try. I'm used to the dark. I'm already bumbling around, like, with my arms out, just in this magical darkness. Quinn, go ahead and give me a perception check with disadvantage. Sure is. Bob, go ahead and do the thing you're doing. This is an incredibly effective... Oop, disadvantage. <laughs> Ignore that. Twelve. You kind of just keep wandering. Like, farther than I should be? I mean, you have no idea how far this room is. Like. That's fair, it's just a room. Yeah, the only thing Gloom Stark gives me is, if I walk in there, I turn invisible, so. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> you turn I'm in the dark. In the place where nobody can see you. Yeah, oh, right? Even if I you have, have devil vision, sight. Um, oh, well. Oh, well that changes a lot. Yeah, I was yeah, like, wait, <laughs> I have an Eldritch Invocation devil sight. It doesn't show it under my senses, it just shows dark vision under my senses. Got it. So, yeah, you can actually see into this room, and you see that there is, like, a large area, and you see five more bodies in this room. All the same size, but different positions, different, you know, outfits, different positions that they're laying in, and it's, but there's five of them, and they all look to be the same person that you just saw the clay model. Can I check the pocket that I saw Bob pull the thing out of? Yeah, just on all five of them? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you pull out. Five letters. They all just kind of like squinting in the devil's sight to say, not today, motherfucker. Or some uh, variation therein. They, they are all offensive statements on the outside. Exact same wording on the inside. Oh, I didn't open, open them. them. No. And it's just these five bodies and nothing else back here that I can see. There is some shelves. There's a chest that's open. There's stuff like that. You gather anything of value. No key? They were in the envelope. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Yeah, they were in the envelope. Mm -hmm. Kind of walk out with these... You said five more bodies? These five sealed envelopes. More bodies back there. Are there any keys in there? In the envelope? Kind of shake them. Do I hear a rattle? You do. Yeah, I'm not opening these. Okay. Yeah. Wait. I, I have an idea. I was just going to set them back there and Eldritch blast them open. Yeah, that was more or less the idea. I was going to throw the torch on them. I could Eldritch blast farther than you can throw a torch, probably. Yeah, I like that idea more. <laughs> Eldritch blast them. To kind of like set them down like not in the room but like between the aisles and just kind of like shoot the whole uh 120 feet that i have would it, would it be better if i shot an arrow at it i don't know if elder blast would destroy it <laughs> if it's a magical key i guess it would you have a magical bow don't you true so i guess it's the same okay <laughs> never mind i forgot my bow is the magical. torch <laughs> might be smarter Facts. Uh, go ahead and roll the hit with your elder blast okay this is... i was like where the fuck you go i get two 12 and a 20 both hit. Nine damage, ten damage. You um, shoot these two small envelopes from very far away. Are they still, from what I can see, presently envelopes? So hard to tell. Can't see if a piece of paper is, like, exploded from 120 feet? Definitely looks like at the very least it moved. I guess we should check. I'll walk up. Bob, Bob put, on, put on a scarf or something. Cover your mouth. And your nose. I'll tuck my bugbear beard. Roll it up and put it in my mouth. Fun fact. Gross. That is what old coal miners did to keep the coal dust out of their lungs. Just like string it up, tie it up up here? Yep, huh. they would literally roll their beards and put it in their mouth, wash their beard out. So I guess I'll do that and then slowly approach till I can Good. see if they're open. Uh, as soon as you get within 50 feet of them, I need you to make... Did you put all of the letters down? Oh, yeah, I figured I'd just shoot them all in a stack. Perfect. I need you to make me five constitution saving throws. I'm sorry, buddy. Do I get advantage at least since I did the uh, You you can have advantage, sure. Hey, five of them. 
Yo, that's a 920, baby. That's almost another net 20. That, 20. Okay. All right. We're banging them. Go ahead and reduce your intelligence score by six for me, please. I only failed one. Uh, Last one was a 16. Yeah. Okay. Only failed one. Uh, do I roll a d6? No. You just lower your intelligence by six. No. no, no, no. Do I get to roll a d6? No, because I was knocking it out of your lungs, not preventing you from inhaling it in the first place. Oh, he's talking about the crit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was also a D6, which is why I was like, no, what? Can Never I see again, if they're open? Uh, they are essentially just destroyed. Do I see keys laying there? Do you see five keys laying there? I guess since the damage is done. I'll, you know, well, actually, no, because I got hit with a thing. I'll just walk back because I don't know why I was even up there. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Bob. Prin, you want to do the thing again? Bob, were there keys? Hey, Bob, what's that? Huh? Just headbutt him in the gut. Oh. Go ahead and roll, just roll your damage. It's two. It's not great. Go ahead and make me another constitution saving throw with disadvantage. Plus two. Ten. This dust seems to be, he seems to have fully breathed in much more of this dust this time. So the trick does not work to get him to spit out or like to get his body to eject this. You are the shot. Cure wounds. I don't know if that does anything. This is like a lesser restoration or greater restoration to, sort of situation. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. And we went to the nearest restaurant in Pavo in any world they would have pepper and grab some pepper and I just have a dust of pepper and blow it in Bob's face. Go ahead and make one more constitution saving throw with this advantage. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Eight. Go ahead and mark off one more intelligence. Okay. I don't feel good. All right. Gonna go scoop the keys and then go find the healer for Bob. You walk over and scoop the keys? Bob. Yeah, gonna use Hold your breath first. Cloth. Hold your breath first. Yeah, I walk over and scoop the keys with the cloth. Okay, go ahead and make me a constitution saving throw. It's like a cloud of this shit. <laughs> uh, 15. 15 just passes. You get the keys. You are... You now have five more of these keys. Healer, come on. Just yeah. push Bob, like, out. We're in this town a little bit. We gotta know where the, like, town cleric is. He's got poison Bob's. lung. Uh, so as you approach this uh, sort of temple area where the clerics are, there's nobody around. Is there anyone walking from shop to cleric? Where do we? He stole the world. He stole the world! What did he get the five keys say? Fuck you. You're not stealing. You didn't expect us to have eight keys. You've shortened the phrases. Or there's more keys for you to find back. Should it? Should have made a new character. When did we get here? Oh, that's a good point. Kato, why don't you go ahead and roll me another uh, constitution saving throw? This event. Seven. Pop it one more. Keeps getting worse, my man. You reach zero, you're gonna die. Yep. That do be how that works. As you're kind of walking around town, you are seeing no one else. The town square where you first met, where there was this large group of bounty hunters that were all on the same mission you are, is dead. Metaphorically dead, yes? There's not, like, corpses strewn about? Yes, metaphor. There's no one around. Just grab Gecko's face, figure out how to fix him. Then I run off back to the shop to start tearing up that back room. What are you planning on doing in the back room? Ransacking, looking for more bodies, more if there is anything else left behind. Okay, go ahead and roll me an investigation check. Well, you start digging through. Go ahead and roll me a history check. 11. I'm having right. bad rolls tonight. So you start pouring over these bodies and you realize that three of them are now kind of in a gas cloud. Like, all the powder from all those envelopes is now kind of permeating. Which is odd. Because the first time you saw the powder, it just kind of disappeared into the ether. Is there any, like, sound or anything coming from these bodies? Nope. And I find nothing of note besides that powder has been permeating. Well, it depends on if you're going to push up to those last three bodies. On the two that you have looked through so far, nothing. And, like, the open chest and stuff are back in that area? Yeah. My thought would be take a deep breath in, hold it as long as I can, and, like, quickly try to rummage. Uh, go ahead and make me a constitution save, though. 18. You save. Go ahead and roll me an investigation check for the first body. Jesus Christ, six. Nothing to note. If you want to continue, I'll need another con save. Okay. Big seven. Go ahead and do me a favor and lower your intelligence score by six. That's strength. You are already in here, so go ahead and roll me another investigation check for the body, and we'll say this happened before, so we'll give you your plus five. Twelve. You don't find any more envelopes. Something strikes you about this body in particular. It's real. Is he dead? Like, wounded dead? Or just dropped dead? It's like, just dropped dead. At, like, a quick glance, is there anything else that, like, a machine or something filling this space? Doesn't look like it. Go ahead and make me a perception check. 20. Dirty. There's one thing up in the counter that you slightly missed on your way through because you went straight for the doors when you got to that counter space. There is a logbook. Some sort of, you know, financial keeping something. 
behind that counter. It stands out to you because it's the only thing in this main room. I guess grab book and start heading back. Grab the book. You meet back up. Uh, at this point, do with your walk times and all that stuff, I will need the two of you to make me one more con save with disadvantage, please. What, what was Gecko and Bob doing on that time that I was... That's true. We'll give we'll give Gecko and Bob some time to... 18. Ooh, Quinn, you shake it off. So I go back to where I was, or am I still at the negative six? You go back to where I was. So does we Bob. We do. Woo! Just the look of excitement on your face, Kona. <laughs> oh, I did it! I did it! I finally rolled good. So yeah, Bob and Gecko, what would y'all have been doing in the time that Quinn was off rummaging through this story? Poking around, looking for a bad guy. Not, not really doing nothing. I told you to fix him! I, doing my best. No idea how to do that. I assume I would have continued to forget and started stumbling away from Gecko and probably kept having to be, like, pulled back. By some stranger. Uh, I would eventually probably... tie a rope to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feel it snag. You're like, damn it, Bob. <laughs> Perfect. So the answer is they were both kind of bumbling around for a little while. <laughs> at a four in, you know? Uh, I get you. I was you, at a five. <laughs> you all reconvene. One of them was flesh. That's not good. I got gooped. I got ungooped and found a book. Also one goop. You know what? Good for you. If I had to do that again, it would have given me a big headache. Yeah, twice was a bit much. Sorry for the bruises. It's okay. Can't see them under the fur anyway. Gecko, you're a paralegal. Do some accounting. I'll take the book and I'll open it. It does not take you long to realize the handwriting inside of this book matches the handwriting on the outside of this envelope. You gather whoever wrote in this logbook, likely the storekeeper you just met, was the one that filled those envelopes in the first place. Specifically matches... the ones... The outside or the inside of the... Matches the outside. He didn't necessarily fill him. He just said, not today. Fuck you. For the sake of the two-hour one-shot, you gather through paralegal skills. There's two of them. You also gather, based on the evidence of the keys as well, and what they said, and the fact that those keys were matching the same kind of tone as the outside, more than likely the shopkeeper just did not realize what this powder he was messing with did, and it got the best of it. This matter got to everyone. Do a crime spree? Did you see anything else in the dog room? Did you see all the stuff that he may have, that he may have stolen? There's nothing back there. Besides, one of the bodies was neat, and there's a lot of the powder just permeating back there. So probably the powder, but I wasn't going to look too hard. That's fair. I mean, we technically have evidence now. It's not necessarily the best evidence, but we do have evidence that, you know, Shopkeep did it. Want to... Take the body back to the guard? We walk past the guard's hut, and were there guards? Uh, there were no guards. I guess we could lock him up. Oh, well, he's dead, right? And surrounded by brain powder. Well, the new mystery is where the hell are the guards? Where the hell is the everyone? You'd walk into the nearest building and just look for bodies. Quick glance for bodies. Oh, so there's no bodies around either. Are they gone, or are we gone? That shack was really weird, and it looked a lot bigger on the inside than on the outside. If we fucking inside lots when it changed dimensions. <laughs> Why don't y'all roll me perception check? This ain't a vibe. Or a vibe check. Y'all can vibe check. Shit. 19. 22. 13. You all start to notice something about the buildings around. They're the same building, but they're run down. You see some shingles have fallen. The streets are poorly maintained. You didn't catch it at first because you've been caught up in trying to solve this mystery. Trying to figure out where the people went. But you gather, you're in the same place. But... Some time has passed. How long was I gone when I went back? You all would know, the two of you would know that Quinn was gone for about six hours. We were gone for, I don't know, a while. Like, we were looking around, but, right, like five, six hours, something like that. Yeah. We thought Sounds we were doing right. a, you know, like a detailed search. It was like 20 minutes in most, including travel time. Oh, that's a bit concerning. How long were we in there the first time we were in there? Probably hour and a half or so taking your time to look through the shelves in the back rooms two hours maybe quinn was probably in there for about two minutes total when they were in. probably been at the very least days if not years or even decades it's probably been a long time and like looking around now really looking at this place it looks pretty weathered shit we time travel like my question is though where's all the stuff you know like, where did all the stuff go? It was all the stuff, like, all over. It's not like there's just going to be a horde in the middle of town just sitting there. Well, if you were looking for a way that someone could steal everything from every town in the Storm Coast at seemingly the exact same time, 
Well, do we go stand in the store until time wraps around again? Time wraps around again. Well, I don't have a DeLorean, so... This town's pretty low on call boxes. My best idea. I want to look around the same store as you were in before the time skip and see if they're still empty or if they have stuff in them now. You return to the previous two stores you went to. They are still empty. They are run down, similar looking to the shop that you all left when this time travel happened. Similar looking to the shop we left? Like their equivalent shop or shop? Shop. It's so run these other down. shops look like shop. Yeah, it's run down. Shelves are barren. The only difference is there's no troll bodies left. All these doors lead to that same shop? Oh, no, 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 no. They are not identical. Sorry. They they are all just everything. They are run down as them. of yes, what they yeah. look like when we left them. Yeah. Just aged however many years. Yeah. Are there any, like, flyers or, like, notices noting, like, an evacuation or... Newspaper? Nothing you've seen. Yeah, what year is it? What does the newspaper say? <laughs> yeah. Robin Williams pops out of a manhole cover somewhere. Why don't you all roll me in such a... What? You want to roll that D6, big man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about that part of it. <laughs> yeah. 19. <clears throat> With the 19, One. you all are currently running under the assumption that, for to call it how it is, that Lots was the thief. But if you all found a place where there was proof of what was happening... And you gathered that whoever was doing this was using time travel to do it all. Maybe just maybe your attention is turned. I wasn't assuming lots of thief. That's fair. I, there was just been a lot of the shopkeep did it. So I was just throwing it out. Gecko also said the gnome in the bush did it. So. Fair and enough. The, and the random elf gentleman, right? Half elf, elf, yep. Half elf. Yeah, that's true. Forgive me. We just don't uh, time travel. And there's an entire fucking sword coast to search through to find the motherfucker that did it. It's not like there's a big neon sign being like, stuff here. Maybe not a neon sign, but there could be other things that would point you in that direction. There a trail of stuff? Now that you mention it, you see just a, a small trail of gold coins that lead off in one direction. Ooh, piece of candy! I'm trying not to, like, give you too much and let you figure it out. But also, if y'all's heads are spinning, I can give you gradually more. I, uh... I check my own pocket. Check your own pockets. Bob did. They are empty. Nothing in there, huh? Not a thing. Were they not empty before? I have an inventory. That's uh, why I was clarifying. Your stuff is gone. I've been robbed. As have the both of you. And this is very much the type of thing of we wouldn't have noticed when our stuff went missing necessarily. Including the fucking bracers taken off of my arms. Probably at some point when I had four intelligence. <laughs> Did they take the did they take the plate mail off my body? Yeah. Oh okay. I have to make a con save. Oh wait, no. Oh, they wouldn't have taken like your armor off of you because okay. that would have been it, it, like incredibly, incredibly noticeable. Like if you were just down 75 pounds of weight off of your torso, like but like the bracers that were bracers of defense, probably, then yeah, there's leather bracers that would have gotten slipped off, not super noticeable, especially while your brain is firing everywhere else. But you have stumbled upon the way to figure out your way to the end. Pat all over myself. See if there's an envelope. There is no envelope, but... There's a key. Did they steal my key from me? Tucked inside. Small pocket. Bob, you produce a key. Can I see what it says? Yeah. You guys know where to look for the engraving. Your key says, I'm sorry, my friend. Well, they could have taken me out first. All they had to do was ask. You guys have keys? Reach in my pocket and throw a key. What's mine say? You got too close. I have another key. Your key. I slowed you down. Well, now they're just showing off. Honestly, kind of. It does say we got too close, though. So maybe we should go back to the store with the bot. We want to lose another couple hundred years? Not really, but I mean, at this point... I guess we don't lose it. it. Everyone else does. Yeah. It's face shit. It's fine. As y'all are walking back towards Lost Shop, make me perception checks. A 19. Or a 10. An 8. Bob, with a 19, you're walking back down this road through this essentially barren town at this point. And as you're approaching the shop shop again, kind of just looking around as you're walking, taking in the city, something catches your eye off towards the palace district of the city. The castle is still looks like it's in pristine condition. Stands out just as a contrast to the rest of the city. So the castle? Mm-hmm. Well, that has an age. Neon sign. 
Maybe we should check there instead. I, for some reason, just in my heart, assumed Neverwinter didn't have a castle. It is the seat of the High King. That means nothing to me. <clears throat> High Queen. I, I, I cannot stress this enough. This is not campaign one setting. Yes, it is. It is just the storm coast. Sure shit is. <laughs> yeah, campaign one was set in the storm coast. Lots of zero. Everything checks out. I mean, every movie ever based in New York City was just the same canon timeline. Yes, absolutely. Oh, go, God. Go, going on that. We, I know how to fix this. Everybody get real fucking sad. The hero's gonna show up. <laughs> no, this is the same setting before the chosen ones happened. <laughs> That's you just got to put us somewhere else in the timeline. It's the That's... same timeline. We're just before everything. That's fair. Well, shit. This could still be Xerxes then. Damn it. The castle. My slipper finger still glued to the you got greedy key. It is. Yeah. You're too greedy to put it down. I'm not. Greedy! And just, like, flap my hand again to try and get it removed. But no, your keys that were given to you did not stick to y'all in any way. The other ones would have as well that you found for the first three, but they were picked up with cloth and stuff. I'm a sacrifice. (laughs) You all travel to the Royal Palace of Neverwood. The gatehouses, the outer wall, all of those are pretty dilapidated at this point. It's easy enough to just find a way through the wall and into the castle proper. And you approach this... These two massive wooden double doors that sit as the main entryway to the castle itself. Just push on it, I guess. Swings right open. And as you open it, every nook and cranny of this castle is just shoved to the brim with gold and jewels and statues and magic items and every other thing under the sun that you can see. Or that you can think of is just shoved in this castle space. Imagine an episode of Hoarders, but it's only things that are worth like a shit ton. Hello? Is anybody here? We got closer. You know, I never expected you all to get this far. You see an old man with a cane comes slowly plodding from around a giant pile of treasure from one of the hallways. Well done. Well done indeed. Thanks. Why'd you steal all the stuff? Power, mostly. That's fair. What did you expect? I don't know, an evil scheme? Well, I'm the only person alive, and I've collected all wealth to be had. I'm alive. Well, until you fuckers showed up. To be honest, I thought you would just be trapped forever, and well, I didn't expect you to break out of it. The powder was supposed to kill you, because... Well, frankly, I didn't want to risk getting too close to you to have to cast the spells myself. That's fair. Kind of rude, though. How do you figure? Well... When I want to take people's booty, I ask them first. Can we have our stuff back? That's all you... That's what you want? No, that's like step one. Are you going to use it to kill me? Probably not. That's not reassuring. Well, we were asked to bring you in alive. Bring me in? By who? The guards. What guards? Uh, they were here, what looks like, a few hundred years ago. So maybe a slight problem with that plan now. Yeah. We could drag you into lots and wait for time to loop around. I was the one that made time loop around you. You went into a confined space. I just made time around you go faster. You're so deeply boring. Just wanting to sit alone at the end of the world with a pile of stuff. What did you, what, did you expect me to have some crazy, what, what plan could I possibly have had? I don't know, some pizzazz, some joy, some intrigue, just sitting on a mountain of stuff alone in the universe is real lame. Do you, do you two agree with that sentiment? I thought the time travel bits was pretty cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool and all, but, I mean, the right, like... You just said that you're here alone with all this stuff. You wanted power, but, like, why? You know, like, how do you feel? Like, do you feel accomplished? Like, I'm honestly asking. You seem to have, like, accomplished your goal. So, like... What is power with no one to lord it over? You're just a sad man on a pile of gold. You just missed the several hundred years of me lording it over people. That's fair. Would you like to... Don't indulge him. Don't indulge him. Well, I was gonna see if you wanted to share a combined confined space with me and watch the world go round. Are you are you hitting on me? Maybe. 
Roll a persuasion check. No, 16. After all this, we can just sit and watch time go by? That sounds nice. As long as we're together. You know, this played out like a dozen different ways in my head. This is a surprise. Never understand me, Bob. You're, you're bounty hunters, right? I just used to be. You took this job for money? Yeah. That also seemed um, cool to be like the person to like... You know, take in the world-renowned criminal who stole everything all at once. Not too late for that, you know. But that would be you assuming you could beat me in a little bit of a scrap. It's like oh. your skin is made of tissue paper. I am a hundreds of year old wizard. I've been fighting for love my whole life. This would be no different. You know, I'm starting to see what, what you were saying. This is semi-anticlimactic, isn't it? Just an old man at the end of the world? Yeah, and a mountain of stuff with three... Whatever the hell we are. Then let's... Let's start off. Let's make it more interesting. Let's raise the stakes. I like stakes. I tell you what, I'll be seeing y'all again real soon. Goodbye now. You see, as he wags his fingers, the world around you shifts and sort of starts to break down on itself. And almost in, in, in an instant, three of you are standing together in the town center of Neverwinter. A guardsman is explaining to you the details of this bounty that you're going after. The most wanted person in the world. Each of you feel in your pocket a small ring with a small chain that hangs off with a key. All of the engravings say this time you'll never find it. Rejected again. God, he's so boring. My friends, this is your first step at beating the master of time himself because who truly is more of a criminal? than a person who steals time. So, in the future, we'll see if we can hang out with Quinn, Gecko, and Bob again to continue the adventures as they chase the master of time. I apologize for giving y'all a little bit of a teaser story here. It was not my intention in the slightest. This was supposed to be a, a, a nifty little one-shot that I had written that involved goats. That's about all I can say without spoiling the story of that one. But who knows? In the future, anything can happen. There may be goats. There may be goats. If you want to see us do a goats one shot, tell us in the comments. If you made it this far through this intro to a mini series, let us know. Thank you all for playing. I hope you had at least a bit of fun working into something that you thought was going to be a completed story that I just don't have the finisher for you. There's supposed to be three more sessions of this. <laughs> So oh. it's okay. I almost just punched the wizard and called it a day. <laughs> you absolutely yeah. could have. We'll keep it going. But you gotta let us know if you want us to finish the story or not. So like the video, tell us in the comments. Do all that YouTube shit for us. Thank you so much for watching. By the time this is coming out, we are going to be this close to starting campaign two of the dice that bind us. I'm super stoked for it. I know my lovely players have been stoked for it for a while. There's gonna be some changes, but that's okay. I hope you're as excited as we are as we get in to silver and cold. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. I fucked up every other week. It's every other week. We'll see you in two weeks. Oh, God.